Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Elden Ring video. Today we have another cool weapon to get after and a cool armor piece as well. We're talking about the Rotten Duelist Grieve and the Great Axe. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go in order to get this today. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now in order to get to this location, first thing first, you should see something pop up right there. It's a full step-by-step -step guide in order to open up the Grand Lift of Dectus. That's how you're going to get to the Altius Plateau. Then you need to make your way through the capital city until you get the Grand Lift of Roll. Which, you should see something pop up right there. A full step-by-step -step guide in order to get the two secret medallions to get through the consecrated snowfield. And then finally, you're going to make your way to the ordinate liturgical town. And then from here, we're going to go to the same pant mark location that I showed you right here on the map. Just hop on your seat and hang a left. There's going to be this one lone dude just sitting out there. He can be a little tanky, but he is going to be holding the axe as well as the rotted greaves. Take him out and we're going to get those rewards. Now, here's how I take him out. Since a lot of things have been nerfed and some things have been buffed. Hey, you know what hasn't been nerfed? the Comet Azure. Now, if you're wondering why he hasn't been alerted to my footsteps, that's because I have one of the Black Knife Rover. You should see something pop up right there. It's a full step-by-step -step guide in order to get that lovely chess piece. You can get it right here in the same town. So, after I Kamehameha made him, well, he was down for the count, ladies and gentlemen. And just like that, you're going to have yourself the Rotten Duelist Greaves as well as the Rotten Great Axe. So, let's check this out. On paper, it looks pretty good. Starting off, ladies and gentlemen, strength of 30, dexterity of 10 in order to wield this weapon and get its special ability. And that special ability is called Endure. Assume my anchor stance and brace for incoming attacks, briefly boosting poise. And, you know, you should block some of those attacks. Here's the legs. You do become slightly a little bit of a target for foes. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. But as far as the Endure is concerned, I notice a huge difference when using this weapon special ability. It really does block attacks, especially if you time it right. And uh, yeah, when using this ability, taking incoming damage is definitely reduced. So it's a really good ability, ladies and gentlemen. But you also can put on different Ashes of War, which is a really good thing. Now, as far as the damage is concerned, well, here is the normal damage with this axe after getting it to rank 9 and uh, yeah, it's not having a problem taking down any of these enemies whatsoever. So in my opinion, it's a really good, really good axe. And on top of all of that, you also have the passive ability of a rot buildup. So consecutive attacks against bosses and whatnot, hey, it's going to build up that rotted effect which is, you know, of course, it's amazing. And like I said, you can always put on Ashes of War on this as well, making this a really good weapon to get, ladies and gentlemen. So I showed you how to get it. Now all you have to do is get out there and get it today yourself. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo and upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.